I mean, if you have your Bibles, I'd like for you to turn uh, to Luke 4, 18 and 19. Guys, I know I'm throwing you for a little loop because I, I, don't, I didn't have that scripture in the, in the beginning, but I really feel like I'm supposed to, to start there tonight because this is where um, I feel like the Lord, the Lord is going to take us. Um, the Luke 4, 18 and 19, starting in verse 18, you've, you've heard this scripture before. If you've been spent any time in this church, you have heard this scripture before. You should be able to memorize it, have it memorized. We're going to read it together. Uh, I'm going to read it, and you just, go, just follow along with me. It says, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. This is what Jesus said. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, and to set at liberty those who are oppressed, and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. So Jesus said that, and they handed him the scroll, and, and, he, and, and he said, Today, this scripture is fulfilled in your, in your hearing, the rest of the, verse, the verses say. And so um, I, I've been pondering on, ever since the beginning of the year, when we had our prayer and fasting time, I've been pondering on the fact that the anointing of God, the anointed, that, that Jesus is the anointed one. Amen. We believe that. He's the anointed one. And when we talk about anointing, we, we, we usually, in, in the Old Testament, you can go back to and trace it back to the anointing oil. It's the, it's the oil that was, that was poured down. Amen? And so we, we, when we talk about oil, that represents the Spirit of God. Amen? We can say that, 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 that the oil represents His Spirit. And, and, and here's what would happen. So I want you to, you to turn with me uh, to Psalms 133. Here's a... The scripture where where um, it's a, a song of ascents of, of David, and here's what it says in Psalms 133. It says, "Behold, look how good it is, and how how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity." And he's, he is talking about uni, unity, but then it and it goes to say that it's so it's so good that it it looks like this. For it is it is like the precious oil upon the head and running down on the beard. And then it, it's like he's saying, it, it starts in the head and it runs down the beard. And then it's, and it, he's like he's saying, uh, like, like, like the beard of Aaron. Like the beard of Aaron, where it ran running down on the edge of his garments. And it's like the dew of, of Hermon descending upon the mountains of Zion. For, the, for there the Lord commanded the blessing of life forever. Now, now, here's the reason why I wanted to focus on that. Because in the Old Testament, when they would anoint priests... They would pour oil on the head, and, the, and, and, and they wouldn't just, just do a little bit. They would pour the oil so much that it would run down and cover everything. They didn't care what it looked like. They just, like, you're anointed, you're set apart. And so, therefore, they would pour the oil, and it would run down. And then another version says that, that it ran down to the edge of his garments. It, there was so much oil that they poured on the head to say, this is you, you're, you're consecrated, that the oil run, it just ran down and covered everything. And so tonight, this is what I, I want you to, to hear by me reading these scriptures is that, that there's more than enough oil. There is more than enough oil. There's, there's, there's not, he doesn't run out of oil. There's more than enough. How many know that he's more than enough? There's a, and, and to the point where it, just, it didn't just run down on his head and, and, and it didn't just run down his beard, but it ran all the way down his clothes and got to the edge of his, of his robe and, and all of it because, he, because he's covered. And, and I, well, I'm going to be talking, I'm talking about two, that's, that's a type of oil, but here's, here's also, I'm going to talk about another type of oil because it, what I'm going to share with you now is a dream that I had. It's a dream that I had, so I'm going to share it with you and I believe it, it relates to, to, our, to our body. And I believe it relates to the body of Christ, but I'm going to share it with, with you. I had a dream that I was walking with the Lord, and I was excited to be walking with him. I was, I was, I was so happy about it. And he was, when we, we came upon this oil field, and the oil field was, 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 it was large. It was big. And but the truth is, is that as we walked, we walked around, he came, all of us, each, each one of us had, had an a, a oil well. And so we, we had oil wells, and... And the Lord asked me, he said, he said, what's going on with, with, the, with, with these oil wells? And I looked out and all the oil wells were capped. Everything, all of them were just capped. And, and he says, and he says what's, what's going on with your oil? What's going on with your, with your well? And, and I, I, just, I just said, well, this, this oil well, we capped it because it, the, production, it, 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 the production wasn't like it was before. 
Uh, there was oil, there was oil in it before, Lord, but now there's not oil in it uh, anymore. And the Lord spoke to me and he said, there's some more oil in there. There's more, there's more oil in the well. And so I took a step back and he, and he went back and he started asking other people, what's going on with this, with this well? And, and, and they said, well, this well had production, but, but me and the person who had the well, we had a falling out. And because we had a falling out, we had to cap the well. And the Lord says, well, the truth is, is that uh, I called you both to work together in this well because one could put a thousand to flight and two could put 10,000 to flight. And I designed the well for you to be able to flow together and, and have my flow for the flow of heaven and be able to produce oil so that you can so that this uh, this region can be anointed. And then he would go to another one and he'd ask, what about this well? And, and they would say, well, Lord, this well started off great. When, when they struck oil, it blasted oil everywhere. There was oil everywhere, and it was, it was, it was amazing. Oil went everywhere, and, and, and then it stopped. And, and, and it didn't completely stop, but it ran, but it wasn't as much as it was before. And the Lord said, the reason why is because this well is a well of consistency, and, you're, and it's supposed to flow steadfast and continue to flow, and not the way that you think it should flow, but the way I've commanded it to flow is so that it can, it can drop the oil exactly where it needs to be. And he's saying, stop chasing after the spectacular. Stop chasing after the, 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 the thing that, that, that is the wow, and stay in steadfast, immovable, and always abounding in the work of the Lord. And so... And so he would go to another well and he'd ask about what's going on with this well? What's going on with this well? And, and they would say, well, another one said, this well, this well right here, Lord, this, this is the one where, um, where we, it, it, was, it was really good. And, 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 but, the, but the oil pump, the oil pump had REF on it and, and we, don't know what, we don't know what that means. So we thought they were refinancing. So we just capped the well. And he says, no. That's not, that doesn't have anything to do with refinancing. It has everything to do with the refiner's fire that I'm bringing this oil through. And, and I'm, the oil was crude, but I'm refining it so that the oil can be used, can be used in the vehicle that I'm using to advance my kingdom. And so, and, and so he, was, he was just going around asking different people about, about the different wells. Um, uh, there was another one where... Um, he asked. He was asking about about what what's going on with these with all these different wells, and they were all, they were capped. And each one of them had an excuse. Each one of us had an excuse of why the well was capped. And the Lord got in the middle, and He said, "This, this is what He said. This is in a dream." He said, "Everyone, stop! I want you to listen to me. I have not called you to cap wells. What I have called you to do is to to flow with my spirit because the oil of joy, the oil of gladness comes from heaven. And I want you to flow with me so that the anointing that you carry, that you go into the different places, can break every yoke that the enemy has put on people. And we're carriers of that oil. We're carriers, we're carriers of that oil. So, so he's, he's saying, listen, the, 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 stop cap. He hasn't called us to cap wells, but he's called us to, to uncap those wells and redig them so that he can, we can flow with his spirit. You understand what I'm saying? And there's so many of us, we get to a place where, where we're, we were talking about uh, that, that what is the oil? Obviously, we're talking about it, it represents the spirit of God, but, but the oil of joy. And the anointing that comes, the anointing that breaks the yoke. Some of us, we need the oil just because we need to loosen up. <laughs> we need to just loosen up because, because we're, every, everything's serious. But I'm telling you, when, when the oil flows down, it flows down and, and it causes us to, to be carriers of his anointing so that we can bring forth his kingdom and his rule and reign in the areas that, of influence that we have. Amen? And that's, what, that's what he's called us to do. He's called us to walk in and walk in his anointing. The anointing oil is, is, is special. Now, here's what I want to tell you, what I believe the Lord wants to break off tonight. Like I told you, we're just going to share for a little bit. He wants to break off tonight. The, the, the wells, the capped wells that, that, that would be capped to stop the flow of the anointing of God on your life, one of them, the number one is fear. God wants to break fear, and he wants to break off the, the fear of your life so that you can walk forward and do what God's called you to do. Fear has to go. The Bible says that there's no fear in love, and God's perfect love cast out, eradicates all fear. So the, the, the well that's been capped in your life, that's been caused by fear, he wants to break that open tonight. 
Some of us may be walking in some unforgiveness and some of the, 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 the caps are, that he's like, why is it? There's, why is there no flow in, in my life? Why is, it, why is it this way? And why does it feel like there's no flow? There's no inflow. There's no outflow. And God says that the unforgiveness has got to be broken tonight in Jesus' name. Complacency. You know, sometimes we can get complacent. Sometimes we can get to a place where we're, where lethargy has walked in. I believe the Lord wants to break open that tonight and get us out, out, off the bench and into the game. Uh, he wants to break open any of the complaining and murmuring and griping. How I many know that that causes us to stop? Amen. There was one, uh, one, one well that that uh, that was Captain Lord was asking about, and one of the gentlemen said, "He goes, well, this well, God, I know this well completely stopped, and there's no oil in it whatsoever." And he said, "This well has been blocked because the enemy has tried to block everything." And try to keep the flow. Some of you, some of us have some blocks in our life. The Lord wants to remove those tonight so that we can flow with him. Amen. His, his, he, tonight he wants to eradicate, he wants to eradicate the capped well uh, the, that's once been capped of doubt and unbelief. He wants to break that open tonight. When it's also pride and arrogance, he wants to, he wants to, he wants to cause that to any, anything, any hindrances that we have of flowing with what God is doing tonight, what he wants to do in our lives, how he wants to break us open, how he wants to use us tonight. He said, I'm uncapping whales tonight so that we can flow with who he is. Anything, any hindrances, any limitations, any limitations to what the Holy Spirit wants to do. Because a lot of times I believe that we, we, we talk about, Lord, we want you to fill us up, but our, our buckets are turned upside down. You ever try to fill a bucket with the, when it's upside down? That's why, why David said, said, know me, O, o Lord. He's a renew a right spirit with me, within me. Turn, Lord, turn my bucket up, right side up so that I can receive what you have for me. And so he, he wants to do that. Anything, any fear of man, he wants to break that off tonight. Anything, any hindrances that have kept you from walking in complete power and the destiny that God's called you to, he wants to break that open tonight. And he wants to cause his life to come. He said, I've come that you might have life and that you might have it, you have it more abundantly. The spirit of God, the spirit of God. He is, he is the, the one who brings truth. Amen. The spirit of God, his spirit that bears witness with my spirit, that bears witness with his spirit, that we are sons of God. I believe God also wants to break off any orphan spirit that we have. I mean, you know, sometimes we can think, we can still think like orphans, still think like orphans, and God wants to break, he wants to break that spirit off and change the way that we think, change our mindset so that we can walk in everything that God has for us. Amen? Here's what I want us to do before I do some ministry. I, I, I'm, I, wanna, I want to, you to just close your eyes. Just, just, I'm going to invite you to close your eyes just for where we are. And I want you to just ask the Lord, Lord, what, what, what is the well? What has been capping the flow of your spirit, the movement of your spirit that you, that you, that you have on this side. What has been blocking? What has been capped? Some of us have some capped wells. We have some things that have, that have, that have kept us, some restrictions. Whether it's been fear, just ask the Lord right, right where you are. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for your, for your anointing, Lord, that it does break every single yoke. It breaks every yoke, Lord. And I want to break, Lord, you to break every shackle that has kept us from walking in your very best for us. Everything that has kept us from walking in, living in, living by uh, the spirit of God that lives on the inside of us. It's the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead that lives in us. And it quickens our mortal body. Lord, we thank you that your, that your oil flows down. Thank you, Lord, that you have anointed us and that you are the anointed one. And I want to thank you, Lord, that you're breaking those things off, Lord, of our lives tonight. There'll be no restrictions tonight. Every limitation would be broken off, Lord, tonight. So that you can do whatever it is that you want to do in us. Everything that you want to do in us, Lord, we, and we say yes to. And we thank you for that. In Jesus' name.
In Jesus' name, amen. Here's what I'm going to ask you to do. If you know what the cap is that's been on your, in your web, the Lord's revealed that to you. I just want you to stand. We're going to pray. If you say, the Lord's revealed that to me, we're going to pray. I'm going to just pray over you right now. So there's been, you know that there's been certain things that have kept you. I just want you to stand, and we're gonna, I'm going to pray over you that the Lord would break that off. All over. Thank you, Lord. So I'm going to just, just wait just for a minute. I'm going to add, so just, just right there where you are. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that your anointing is what breaks the yoke off of our lives. And so I thank you, Lord, that you are releasing your power, the power of your anointing, God. Everything that you, that you are, are doing, Lord, and you're breaking off those restrictions, God, that would keep us from moving forward. Every single, uh, whether it's, whatever it is, if it's addiction, Lord, whether, whatever it is, whether, whether it's a wrong mindset, wrong thinking, God, I, I thank you, Lord, that you're releasing your power and your, your anointing, God, the, the oil, Lord, uh, the, of gladness, Lord, that comes from you, and you have anointed us. And we thank you, Lord, that, that tonight, that it will be broken off, Lord, in the name of Jesus. That everything, Lord, that has kept us back from walking in your very best, Lord, we just say, we say, Lord, that we want it eradicated, Lord, and we want to say yes to your will, Lord. Just go ahead and tell the Lord yes. Just go ahead and open your mouth. Just say yes to him. He's breaking, he wants to break that off. Every shackle that, that has to come, every, every limitation, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. All the restrictions, Lord, they, they have to go in the name of Jesus. And we just thank you, Lord, that you're releasing your power, your anointing. Lord, in Jesus' name. I know I'm just asking, Lord, that you would saturate them with your oil, Lord. They'll be saturated with it. Lord, all the way. Lord, let it run down and cover every place, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for your, for your power, Lord, and, and it is your anointing. Lord, it's who you are. It's what you've, called us, what you've called us to so that we could bring and advance your kingdom in every sphere of influence that you've called us to. And just, now just thank the Lord for, for him breaking that off right now. Just, just, just thank the Lord that he's uncapping that. Just thank him. Just open your mouth and just thank the Lord. Thank you that you are uncapping the wells, Lord, the wellspring of life. Spring up, O oh well. Spring up, Lord. We thank you that every well, Lord, and out of their bellies will flow rivers of living water. We thank you, Lord, that your spirit, Lord, that flows out of us, Lord, that river that flows from your throne that brings life to everything that it touches, Lord. We thank you that, that, that if the flow, everything that it touches, bring life to it, Lord, right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that, that the well springs up on the inside, Lord. And we thank you that those, Lord, every, everything that you have called, uh, Lord, for us to do and walk in, Lord, we just, we thank Thank you for it. And we say yes, Lord. Yes to it. Bondage, Lord. And, and any type of, Lord, any, any, we just, we just we'll break off, Lord, in Jesus' name. And we thank you for it. Mm. I just I feel them here in, in, in this house. Lord, we thank you for it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.